today I wanted to show you a new interesting little project we've been working on, which is a modified version of our 30 inch by 50 inch plasma cutting table. We have a lot of customers who buy these plasma cutting tables to do hand cutting, either with plasma or with OxyFuel or any kind of torch. And they're great for that. However, we've been getting calls from folks, especially the ones who use a little CNC system called ArcDroid. If you've never heard of it, it's really interesting. It'll hold your plasma torch and move everything around. And people who've called wanting to be able to have water in the table so that they can keep the fumes and everything from the plasma cutting from going everywhere. So what we've done is we've taken our standard 30 by 50 table uh, and that one usually has holes all around the sides so that you can add extensions and things on the end and everything else. And it also has holes for the legs to bolt to the bottom of the table. And we've removed all of those holes. We have welded all of the seams on the corners because this is already folded up and without any holes and welded seams it'll now hold water. We have added a little bung down on the inside so that you'd be able to drain the water when it gets dirty. In order to be able to still mount things on the table we have included a series of holes along both of these top ridges and we've made sure that the slats are level so that you could bolt one of these devices on the side and have it kind of hang over and do CNC st stuff up here. So whether you wanted to use an arc droid or whether you want to build your own small CNC plasma uh, setup. And then one of the last little thing that I'll point out is we're handling the legs differently on this table because we didn't want to cut holes in the bottom of the table. So what we did was we, we have added some little tubes to the bottom which are welded on and then our normal table legs can insert into those tubes so that way you can take the top on and off you can move it around you can use different legs if you want but that was our clever solution to not having any holes uh, let us know give us your feedback what do you think about this do you see any way we could improve this while still keeping it watertight so that it can be filled with water for when you're cutting on it and stuff so hope you guys enjoy the video. Give us a thumbs up if you like it and we'll see you next time.